Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. Yesterday I made this picture you see here and uh, in a very short uh, time uh, I got um, many requests for a tutorial for this picture. Of course I will do a tutorial and uh, but I think you will be a little disappointed because <laughs> it's quite easy. It looks complicated but it is, uh, as I said, it's quite easy. But it makes fun and you have so many possibilities and uh, yeah, I see it every time. Please post your results on my Facebook group. But uh, it seems that uh, most of you don't like to post the results. But uh, okay, it's okay if you don't want to show me. It's okay. I cry a little bit at night in my pillow, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's start. And uh, we start with a simple plane. Most people thought that this is an. Uh, landscape object or something else. No, it isn't. A plane and let's say thousand by thousand and many segments 500 by 500. So something like this. The next step is uh, select my plane and go to my deformer, hold my shift key and click on the displacer. So the displacer becomes child of this plane and we need a shading in the displacer and we need i take a noise of course and we have something here i go to 2d and now we are just looking for a good noise uh, let's try the noise but uh, first i want to go a little higher here so I go up here the object and let's say to 50 centimeter and I make here the strength to 50, okay. This, she seems a little small, so 300. I can't remember the, the, uh, the settings from yesterday because I didn't think about to make a tutorial for it. So uh, I will get a totally different uh, result today, but this is a nice thing on this. And let's hit in NA to hide our uh, mesh here and let's scroll through the noises because this noise is boring this is not nothing let's go to blister turbulence maybe you can change the height of course here in the object thing but you, uh, you can change it uh, a little bit here too in the contrast too so uh, if you go you can see if you go up with the contrast down with the contrast you can change it here a little bit too um, maybe i may less uh, yeah and now we, we scroll through you can scroll with the seed you can play with the seed until you find a, a landscape or a shape you like uh, please the devil lens is maybe not the right one i just go through with my arrow keys booyah no <laughs> Definitely not. It would be maybe nice. It would be a nice shape, I think. Maybe we try it later. Kranal. Not really. Dents are not bad at all. So let's look down here. Dents are not bad. You can play here with the tips and, 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 and the valleys with the low and high clip too. So if I go up with the low clip, you see get this if I go down so we get this can play a lot but then it's okay I have, I have it in my mind but let's go further displace turbulence let's see what this does if it is higher and if it is bigger well, this could be a nice one Let's play with the seed a little bit. Do I see it better with with uh, with mesh? Let's see. Hmm. We have to find a nice spot. As I said, I can't remember how I did it yesterday, but because. 
did not really care about. <laughs> I just played around like now. Just press some keys and take another turbulence. Oh, what's that? Electric, but in electric we don't have uh, a seed, so this is a little problem. I don't want this. Oh, FPM looks nice. This looks nice. Maybe go back with the contrast a little bit. So. And when I have some 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 things like small C's maybe. Uh, that looks not bad. Maybe we, really I think we work with this for, because uh, you know me, I'm sure I, I change the settings in this tutorial <laughs> times. But let's try it so that we see what we get. But let's play with the seed a little bit more. Yeah. I think I like this. Okay. Let's say we are happy with this. I make a camera so that I don't have to find the right spot here anytime. So camera with a protection deck, you know it. Okay. And now I wanna hide the camera. So and now you see we have here some uh, ugly edges. Uh, sometimes you can uh, avoid this with with uh, subdivision surface. So let's test it. I make a subdivision surface, but just one subdivision here because we have a very high subdivided mesh here. So and put the plane into it. You see, it's getting better, but we get more and more subdivisions. So, so let's go to the subdivision surface and go to two maybe. And uh, now that makes it even worse. So I don't want to make it with subdivision surface. I take the uh, plane and under this displacer, I want a smooth deformer. So I go to my smoothing deformer, put it under the displacer. And then you see, we have nice smooth edges, but this, this is too smooth for me. So I go with the stiffness up and now slowly back until I don't see these ugly edges anymore. So I go slowly back and okay, that's it. You see, we are here in about 88, let's say 85 here. So and now we have this nice landscape here. And the next step is this, this fine, funny striped displacement. For this, uh, we have I have here my my uh, old uh, Nicomedia scene rig. You know it. This this material is this a uh, presetted uh, plastic, metal, transparent car paint, real displacement texture and everything. But I want to make it so that everyone can do it from scratch. Even even the people that don't have the Nicomedia scene rig, what I can't understand, but it's not. A good thing. <laughs> Okay, so just double click in the material manager and double click on the material. You see by default my material has nothing uh, enabled. It's totally empty material. So for this material I take a color, put it on my plane here, make it a little lighter so, and for the moment a displacement. Good so far. And the displacement I want and noise, of course. Noise, noise, noise. And so that we can see something, I have here my low uh, thing. It's okay without uh, invent without global elimination, just the invent occlusion a little bit. And that's okay. And if we go to the, our interactive render region, we should see something. Okay. Uh, let's put this to here somewhere. Okay, but this is not the displacement I want, of course. I want stripes here. So what I do now is, I may want to, to stretch this uh, noise here. That means I go in the y-axis, I go down, so let's say to 5 or something else. You see we get stretched material. 
does not look right. But I, I don't want this noise inside. I want really stretched, uh, endless stretched, more than less. So we could go here to the relief scale and case, let's say it's go here to 1000. You see, it's okay, but it's not still not endless. If I want endless stretched, maybe this is an, for sure a nice uh, thing to a nice uh, result. But I want endless and this is, you just hit zero and then you get an endless stretched material. But you see, it does not look right. Of course, because uh, I don't want a UV mapping here, I want a flat mapping. Okay, that doesn't change much. And the first thing what I do is, I go to my flat mapping here, you see it? I select my flat mapping, I select my plane, I go to my uh, texture mode here, you see now uh, this is my texture, and I uh, activate the axis so I can uh, rotate and everything with the axis. Uh, see, okay, the first thing what I want to do is I want to fit this texture to my plane here, to my dis displaced plane. So right click on the on the texture deck and fit to object. Yes, okay. Uh, and now, you see, it looks almost what we want. Here the problem is, in the displacement, we have two less uh, sub displacements. So I let I go to to I activate my sub polygon displacement. But before I do this, I always uh, if I have such a high dense mesh here, I disable my my displacement. Then I activate my sub polygon displacement and go down to two something else because if you go to four or something and uh, it needs very long to calculate if you have already a high dense mesh so uh, i avoid this and then now if i have set all up like i want it maybe want it i don't know let's see but with, with two not it cannot happen much so we're on a safe side and now i enable it let's see what we get and this looks already all most like we want it. But and then let's see if we make here three, we should get, okay, we are in very low uh, resolution here, but with three, we get an even better thing here. It looks great. Okay, but it's a little too high for me, so let's go to two centimeter here maybe. Let's see how this looks. Looks a little better. Ah, this looks nice. This looks really nice. So we can go in my object mode. And let's go. Let's see some different angles here. So. Looks nice here too. And the great thing is it works of course with every noise now. We can change the noise, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, sometimes uh, it has some little uh, uh, ugly edges like here a little bit. Uh, you get a better result when we go to the noise and because we have a, a flat mapping Let's go here from texture to 2D. And that should this gives you an even better result. Yeah, that looks better. Maybe you can decide however you want it. So let's go back to the texture because I think here on top. The texture looks maybe better here, then we'll see it later in the render, final render, because on the top it looks better here with the, with the texture. Okay, this is nice so far. Let's see. And what I said is, uh, when you go now to your displacer here, and go to the noise and say, uh, let's render it, or let's go down to displacement let's go down to one here for the moment just for, for the for speed okay and if we play with the seed now we can still play with the seed 
and see what we get. It works on, on every uh, thing now, so we can go to whatever we want. But I think this was nice here. But now I want to see this cell noise. Uh, it, it don't <laughs> we need a, a higher resolution maybe, I don't know. But you see here, it, it, it does not work. Uh, maybe I have to go. This is just a playing around, just play and play and play. Okay, I, I don't want this noise, so it doesn't matter. So go back to my texture, go back to my FPM. It was nice. So, okay. Huh? What's now? Nice. Texture, FPM, 2D. Now <laughs> we are back, okay. And now we, try, we start to texture this whole thing. And for this, I go out of this thing. So it's camera views, it looks nice. And now we want to make this, this gradient. So I go to my color channel. The first thing I do, I take a gradient here and say it should be a V gradient. Let's see if this is okay, maybe. And now I go to my, I go back and now I go to the colorizer. And in the colorizer, I, you can make your own your, your own gradient here. And you will see it later on here. But uh, I have here a preset with my this I I saved here. So yeah, that's the gradient. So, but this is the wrong direction. So I make here invert knots. And let's render this and let's see what we get. You see, it starts to work. But now I can easily find the, the, uh, the place where the water should start and something else. I go back to my color, to the gradient here. And when I go down with the black, you see, Oopsie, it starts to look like this. It's maybe nice, so. Could be nice, we have here dark tips and then we have here the water. Let's go out a little bit, so. Let's see how this looks. Okay, make the displacement to two. Okay. Maybe a little, little higher displacement. Okay, and I, what I want to do is here, Make the contrast here a little more, no, not, not much, maybe 25%. Okay, the 25% is okay, but now I can go back to the two centimeter here because here it's too high for me. But maybe you like it like this. So. Okay, this is nice. Of course, now we have, this is the start, now we have to light and everything, so... For the lighting, of course, I use my Nico Media Scene Rig. Uh, so let's go to the Scene Rig, I bring in my Scene Rig. Bing. Everybody knows it meanwhile, I think. So I don't need any floor or something else, so turn off floor. 
and if, if lighting and what I want here now in my texture I want reflectance but not as much so I have here a layer with just GGX and uh, this is okay this is okay I think maybe here to 50 and 25 something else like this and I want a different lighting of course here I want to go to my HDR I say things and I shift F8 for the content browser uh -huh. good so I go to my HDR eyes take something from the outdoor and let's see something a nice 8k texture something like this yes drag this in now we should get, get an other thing no, come on, it's an 8K texture, so it needs a little to... And I want, of course, GI. And now we get nice lighting and everything. Look at this. But it is not... This is not the finish. It looks crazy nice, but what I want now is uh, maybe here uh, on the stones, so the the canyon itself. I want rough. So let's go to let's say thirty, and not so much. So, Something like that. Yeah, that's better. And the water, I want totally uh, uh, glossy and transparent. So we make an, another plane. So let's stop this here. I just copy this plane here. I bring out the displacer things, don't need it. And we need here no subdivisions. That's nice. And I go up with this plane here. Uh, down in, in this case, I go down this maybe. And in th on to this side where I want my water. So, so this height, say I want my water like here. Good, and I make a transparent material. Okay, now <laughs> no, it's it's so, so, so comfortable with, with this script. So I just you see it hit on transparent material and uh, everything is presetted and done. The uh, only thing here is in the transparent channel, in the custom channel here, rup, 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 everything is set, but the refraction preset is the glass and not the water. I want water here. Oops, so, water. And everything is nice. And here I can see this is the water. And you see that it, it, it changes the name here and here and here and everywhere. And so, here not. But in the in the layer because they have an own uh, own layer now, so this is water now, and everything is nice and this should work. But it looks a little yellowish, however. But it isn't. We don't have any any color in it. it I don't know why it looks yellowish here, but it isn't. So, and I drag it on my plane. Here, whoop. So here I go to uh, not a flat mapping. I go to the UV mapping because, we and let's see what to get now. You see now we get a nice water here. We have here the sun in the water, but maybe this this uh, change maybe later. We, we, this is very easy to change in the rig in the scene rig. Just go to the HDRI settings. And here down you can rotate horizontally. You'll see it better when we do the preview on the and you can see wherever the sun is, so like something like that. Uh, 
And maybe it was not so bad and with the with the sun in the water. Yeah, it doesn't matter, this is not the final, so we, we can play with this later on. But you see, we get a very, very nice... Uh, I'll go back to zero here and go back to the camera. But what I want is... The water, I want to give the water a little thickness. So, I go to the plane and to the simulate hold my alt key and close close surface uh it, as the, in default is a subdivision of one so i have here zero in my defaults we don't need subdivisions but i want a little one centimeter thickness is okay for me and it should give a little better results yeah that looks better Very nice. But let's play with the. So I don't need it in here anymore. And let's play with the. Wanna find another spot here. Okay. It's nice here and, and darker here, and I like it. But somehow, I want to have some reflections in the in water. Yeah, now it's nice. Now we see the hills here in the water. That's quite nice. But let's play a little with the gradient here. You can do here so much, you can play with the gradient, bring this up, down, whatever you want. Uh, but now I wanna... What's when I bring them away this? Uh, this is too boring, let's bring it back. Something like that. And because this is very abstract, we can go to the transparency and let's give it exit reflections too. This should reflect more. Normally I, I don't take, no, come on, no. Oh, exit reflections, I have to put it in the custom for what did I do this so uh, I don't have the exit reflection here. So okay. But maybe we find a more interesting noise. <laughs> but you see we are all almost ready here so uh let's go to the HDR so to the Displacer here. Let's deactivate this for the moment. Let's deactivate the preview here. Don't need it. Boop, 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 boing. So, and let's play a little with the uh, 684. Is this one? If it's too high, let's go to something like this. Uh, See, you can play so nicely with this. This is... Oh, what's that? That's a nice thing here. And 
This that looks nice. Oh yes, <laughs> this is a nice spot. I think I leave this for now. Make a new camera for this. I bring the protection tag up to here and delete this camera. I don't need you anymore. And now, what I want is in the camera. I want maybe something like 80 here. Bring the protection down here and let's see. So we see more of this, this landscape. Uh, something like that. Yes, this is nice. This is definitely nice. So up with the protection deck. And I save this file. Let's skip this. This is from my first test. Landscape. So. Okay. Yeah, the patrons already can download uh, on the Patreon side. You can download the original project file of this. So uh, if you want, can download it if you are a Patreon. Uh, patrons from five euro and above. So, and uh, I see it uh, again. Uh, if you have, if you are a Patreon for five euros, that doesn't mean you can download one project file for for five euros. You can uh, make the. Uh, uh, Patreon site, you can go, you can uh, donate this five euro. And for one once, you can download everything what you can get there for five euro. So all that project files, all the download files, everything was only in it. And if you think, okay, now I have everything, uh, you can, you can uh, uh, stop your Patreon thing and uh, you have everything. And if you find new things, you can again uh, donate five euro, just download everything you want, but this shouldn't be the way, <laughs> okay? This, this is just, uh, I wanna tell you, if you're just uh, paid once five euros, it doesn't mean you you have you to pay for every file five euros or something else. No, it's for everything. And if you're a Patreon of 10 euro, you can download the uh, Nicomedia scene rig, the pro version, and uh, yeah, and then, yeah, and you can, of course, when you, if you're a Patreon, you, if your requests will be uh, 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 work with your requests uh, uh, faster than with the normal requests and everything, so that the Patreons they have an advantage to the uh, no non Patreons. But as I said, it's 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 not a must. So I show everything here. So you, if you make the tutorial, you know, normally you wouldn't need that. Uh, project file, but uh, sometimes in the project file there are uh, textures or something else they, they don't have, they, I made them same uh, self and then I made them myself and then so they are on the Patreon site. And then. But away from this, let's make a render with this here, I think. Uh, yeah, I make a short break and make a an render and let's see what we get here. Okay, I see. Uh, stop the render here because uh, you see here we have not uh, no nice things. So this is I forgot to, to go up with my with my uh, displacement level here. So I go to three here, and here we have uh, some ugly things. And this is here now the reason because we are here on texture and not on two D. We go to two D, and then we should have this so and I restart my render so okay we see now we see that we uh, see I have now a render time from five and a half minutes we see we get a really nice uh, result here but I see I want maybe a different thing because I want some some uh, reflections in my water so let's go back here let's go back to the lower resolution here and let's see how we get some reflections in the water. So, oh, come on, what's wrong now? There is something wrong. OK, 
Okay, let's go down with the... We don't even need uh, displacement at the moment to see the reflections here. Ah, here is something wrong now. With the... Uh, with, with this interactive render region. So maybe now, yeah, go now. So let me just this this region here. It it looks nice. Maybe we we, we should let render it uh, first. But uh, let's see what we can do. Maybe with the HDRI settings. So let's play with with the rotation here again. I like this, this, uh, this, color. yeah, now it's a nice reflection. I like this water color here, it, is, it looks great. And, yeah. This reflection is nice. But maybe let's test another HDRI for, for just for fun. So we have this here, and we have something here like this maybe this is more beach things uh, eight car too so it could need a little to load it is not much difference at the moment ah. This looks nice. It's a little dark, but it's uh, okay for me. Because I, I play later on in, in Photoshop too a little bit, so this would be okay, I think. Let's make a render with this. Why not? Back in a second. Okay, now we are here. Um, I made this render for uh, some minutes ago, but uh, here I saw it's maybe too less uh, glossy. So, so now I uh, gone up a little bit with here with uh, the reflectance. You see from roughness thirty and reflection strength fifty, and this looks nice. But what I wanna do is here. I um, want to make the smaller stripes. So, so what I want is, I go to my displacement and go here from five to let's say four or three. I try three. So I get finer, uh, more fine uh, stripes here. And um, this render is uh, middle high class. So, so you see, we have some. Uh, noise or some grain in it but this doesn't matter because uh, this we can uh, uh, get rid of in Photoshop later on. Uh, yeah, we can to, uh, set our render settings a little higher so I'm here now on 4 to 5 so if you go to let's say high and go down here to four, uh, 5, 3, 5 and here maybe 3 should do it, and here I have the blurriness subdivision, they are default uh, by 2, 2, 2, and here I don't know, let's see, uh, 2 again. A subsurface scattering doesn't matter here, we don't have any subsurface scattering. Uh, but yeah, I have here everything at 3, normally it's a 2, but uh, this is, should be okay. And so I make it now an, another render with, with, with the stripes closer together, and with a little more high with little higher settings. So now I did some render and this is the uh, result I like. It definitely was a good idea to make these uh, stripes thinner. So we had the beginning, we had this here, I think yeah, this was this. Then I said, let's make the stripes thinner. This was this. Looks much better for me. Then I thought the water is not really what I like. 
And so I did it again, but, but I forgot to bring up my displacement. And this is the end wave again. And this was with the other water, and so this, this was too clear for me. And so this looks much better, I think. What I did was just in the water shader, so in this displace, in this transparent channel, I gave absorption color here to 1.5 centimeter. And what I did is uh, the brightness down to, to 95%. This is all. So and then I got this water here. We see it's still a little grainy everything, but uh, this is okay for me. I do it in Photoshop then. And here, this is uh, this this grain here can come from the HDRI or something. Else. Uh, you can normally I would make another render, make the HDRI a little brighter, or, or rotate the HDRI again and try other things. But you see, this render took uh, half an hour here. And okay, I'm not on my hard, I'm not on not my strongest machines, but. Uh, Anyway, it's it's quite a time, but this is because of the displacement and everything. But it's worth the time, I think. So and now I th would say let's go to Photoshop and let's see what we can do out of this. So uh, we could here play with the filter too. So if it's too dark, let's go up a little with the exposure here. You know? So so you see it gets better, and then let's make it a little more contrast here. So a little more so. Maybe a little more saturation, a little less gamma, maybe. But uh, this is this is better than doing Photoshop. So let's disable this, and I make here a edit copy. Go to Photoshop, new file from clipboard here. Normally, it should be it should say from clipboard. What's wrong here? The, again, edit copy new file from now it's here from clipboard uh, this is every time the same when i go from one monitor this is uh, create and control v to paste it in and make a smart object out of this i have a, a shortcut for this but uh, normally right click and convert to smart object and with Control Shift A, we go to the camera raw settings. Make it here one hundred percent, so that we see something. And let's go up with the clarity a little bit. So, but not much. We can do this. Oh, we can do this with the clarity later on too. Maybe with the exposure a little bit. But I think I start with the, I think I start with the Nick filter here. The new collection, you will find the, the plugin in, this, in the description of the video. This is meanwhile free. This. So, go to 100% here. Make it a little bigger. So, we have the whole picture here. Okay, I have the detail, detail extractor. Let's see if we, didn't need, if we want it. Yeah, we definitely want it. Another filter, so I go to add and let's see it. Let's see the color range. Looks quite nice, but contrast only. Note that's nothing. Cross processing, yeah, that looks nice. Cross processing, another filter, and now this color range. No, this is nothing. But uh, pro contrast here, maybe. No, I just test it and look what I like. Maybe the cross processing is not so fun. Let's bring in the contrast. This is, is nice, of course, it is nice. Too much. No. Just play around until you find something you like. This is. I want to do something with this, but I'm not sure what. Uh, 
Yeah, a little, not too much. That, that's it. Okay, let's see. That's nice. Another filter. This is darken light and center. So this is like a little vignette. You see? But the vignette I can do later too. So, but here on top we get. So. Oh, I don't need much here. This is a, this is a nice render. So we, but maybe let, let's go to all here and let's make here something. Uh, reflector FX brings some light. Yeah, that's it. This this light strongness here. So this not so much a little so. See here. Okay. Oh, gold is okay here. Yeah, I like this. And maybe a little s not, not sunlight, skylight. This is maybe a little too much. Ten should be enough here. Okay. And then let's play with some nice filters here. So let's see the color stylizer. Looks great, but nothing for me now. Colorize. Cross balance. You see, you can play. And play and play. This is the the thing where I need the most time, just playing around. Is this something? Pastel. That looks nice too somehow, huh? but not now. So, bye. This is okay for me. And now I make another smart object out of it. And now I go to my. Camera row filter with con uh, Control Shift A, and now let's see what we can do here a little bit. First, what I want is maybe the clarity. Okay, then uh, maybe here the haze. Oh no, that's okay. We could make a vignette now here, so something like this. Okay. And now I really see if I can get rid of a little bit of this this uh, grain here. Okay, so first take this and now I make another smart object out of it. Control Shift A. And I go here to the luminance noise reduction and go down. You see, this will get better. Then it looks nice. It looks nice. Uh, some some plants on the ground or something else. But it is on the whole picture now. But it this is okay. We don't see it. This look makes it a little soft. This is nice. I like it like this. Yeah, I leave it like this. Looks nice. Luminance detail, if you don't need some so much detail, you see you can go down here, but but this we could do in another step. So let's go to 60 here. Okay. And now I make another smart object, another camera filter. And now I go with this luminance all the way up. And here, no detail. So almost no detail for the for the water, if I want. So something like that. Okay, but now I say I just want this. This it looks nice too. That don't. But let's say if you want just this this uh, noise reduction just on the water. So go to this mask here, 
you see now we have a white rectangle around it and hit control I to invert it and now we take a white brush so and we take the brush here with a white color we have the white foreground color and now I brush just over the areas I want to have uh, with this noise reduction so with the mask selected see I just go over it now I can brush in where I want this noise reduction uh, something like that and I am happy with it and now I make a last smart object again control shift A and now maybe a little exposure a little brighter this whole thing not much just a little bit again a little clarity so oh, no I don't need clarity here maybe a little less shadows no, no I like it like it is so just a little exposure and this is this is and now I make another smart object go to the filter and make just a border around it so I go to here and to my favorites and image border I make an image border and it makes it like a framed picture this this looks nice I like it at least so this is my finished picture maybe I make the border a little smaller so image border uh, make it a little smaller okay this is my picture and I save it landscape I have here some landscapes uh, colorful canyon so okay this is the result and I hope you like it and you've seen it it's it took a while almost an hour but this is not the work what takes uh, uh, it's long it is the playing around and find the correct settings and try and try and try to another noise another thing another color another HDRI or something else you see you have so many possibilities and this looks really great I love it like, like it looks and uh, yeah, and I hope, uh, guys, I hope really uh, you post your results in my Facebook group. Uh, uh, come in in this Facebook group. There are really nice li uh, people there. There, there are people there. They are more clever than me. So, so the, what not cinema for D uh, in, uh, means? So, okay, they clever more, more clever than me is not really a, a heavy thing. But <laughs> anyway, but they are all friendly. Nobody is angry about questions, and everybody wants to help. There, uh, there are uh, there are uh, files shared and everything. So uh, let's have a look at it and, and maybe subscribe to our group. So and yeah, this is it for today. And I I'm not really sure if I make another tutorial before Christmas. So. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I find time, so I'm not sure, so I wanna say now, I wish really, I wish you all and your loved ones a really Merry Christmas and I thank you so much for your loyalty, really, uh, I really appreciate it, every one of you. I have now, I never thought that, that it will come. I have over 13,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube and everything. It's, it's crazy for me. This is unbelievable. And uh, really, I'm really happy. And, and uh, I appreciate appreciate every one of you guys. And uh, yeah, and I know, of course, I know my English is terrible. I know it. But <laughs> you, you guys, you watch me tirelessly. So <laughs> I say I can say just thank you. It's really, it's really great. So I, as I said, I wish you all all the best. What whatever you want, you should get it. <laughs> so, and yeah, the next tutorial, as I said, will come. Then uh, of course this year will, will come another tutorial. But 
I can't promise that it will be before Christmas. So uh, that's the reason I tell you now. Uh, and I want to say thank you to all of you. Thanks to my Patreons and thanks to my... Uh, to all of people of you who support me and yeah if you wanna support me you will find every link in the description you can support me on patreon you can donate on, on uh, paypal and and something else and yeah Th that's it for now thanks a lot again and uh, yeah please send me your results I would love to, to see what you guys do with it uh yeah <laughs> thank you so 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 much guys okay so what i say and know my last words they are tschüss und baba